Well, good morning or good afternoon, or maybe even good evening, depending on what time you're listening to this. But um, I'm delighted uh, to do the next interview in our series, our special series of um, celebrating the last 30 years of ASIS or ASIS UK. And um, I'm delighted also to be joined by a really old friend of mine. Um, I will say less of the old Graham, I promise oh. that's the last time I'll mention it. Um, but Graham Bassett, who um, has been a true friend of the chapter and has been involved for so many years. Um, morning, Graham, and welcome. Hi, Tim. Thanks for the, uh, the old bit and the clarification there. Um, but you say 30 years celebrations. I'm just working it out, actually. I, th I, I think it's nearly, nearly 28 years, I think, I've been a, wow. uh, been a, been a member now. So some, some, right some, some, start. Summer in 95, I was just a young man with, um, you know, a lot more hair. That's fantastic. So you mentioned you joined ACES 28 years ago. What, why did you do that, Graham? Good question, Tim. That was a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> lots <laughs> gone by. Um, previously, previously, I'd worked in Saudi Arabia. And uh, there I joined, I think it was called the British Business, Businessmen's Overseas Club. Um, and it was sort of a, net, a networking club and also very much to look out for businesses that were coming into uh, Jeddah and into Saudi Arabia. Um, and I've never been part of anything like this before. But through that, I really understood, you know, the value of being part of a professional business network. You know, we're like we're like minded individuals. And so that comes back to to the ACES piece. So when I got involved as a much younger person with ACES, it was and that is exactly what ACES is, but it's on a global, it's on an international basis. Um, and it's just, you know, a great community to be part of. And you've got like in Saudi, you had there is this camaraderie, as you know yourself, Tim, you go to a conference and then you're chatting to somebody from New Zealand to Sao Paulo. To, to wherever you know and if you needed to rock up in some godforsaken country not mentioning any you know you could contact your colleagues yeah. there and say excuse me can you tell me uh, like what's a good hotel or how do I get from the airport to you'll probably get somebody come and pick you up and take you to that place you know that's just a, a, a great a great community to be part of so um and that's why that's why I joined really um to be part of a community Fantastic. And the fact that you're still here and involved in speaks volumes, I guess. Um, at, at some point during your, your journey, then you, you decided to join part of the leadership team of the chapter or the leadership side. Um, and yeah. I understand you're still involved with leadership within ACES, um, at a more sort of wider level as well. So perhaps you could just describe to me what made you decide to do that, what you were involved in and what you're still involved in now. Yeah. I'm I keep referring back to but maybe like yourself, you were coerced into saying what a great thing this would be. And uh, it was the same for me going back, you know, many years ago um, when really I was just one of Santa's helpers. Um, <laughs> uh, and I was asked to, you know, support at the, uh, at the seminars. So I used to rock up on the day or before that deal with the, uh, the sponsors and the uh, the exhibitors and sort of make sure everything was okay is invariably you know it wasn't you just got to ask Justin nowadays um and it sort of one thing led one thing led to another and then with um with Mike Alexander so I was on a on a later latterly got on a committee he sort of said why not you know be VC so I became a joint uh, a joint VC um you know there was there was a lot to do but also for me, it's always been, you know, about trying to make a difference, even if it's just a small piece. I mean, you know, for anybody, whatever they do, just that small bite-sized chunk of doing something will make a difference to, I've used this term before, like serve the membership, not in a servile mm -hmm. way, but that, that's what I believe we're here to give back and serve and look out for the membership. Everything grows uh, and hopefully everything's in a, you know, a better place. Um, now I'm, what am I now? I'm kind of losing sight really. Well, I was ARVP for some years for region 9A, which was, uh, which well, still there nearly, uh, which is, uh, France, was it France, Benelux, oh, Ireland and UK. And I think there's a small place called Monaco somewhere in the French piece really. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, that's all changed, as, you, as you're no doubt aware, with this new European structure, which is the first globally. So I think there's all eyes on it. Um, so I'm part of this, what's it called? European Business Governance and Finance Committee. That's it. That's, that's the one. Um, so, yeah, I'm still involved in, in that context, which is uh, I, I enjoy it as a small, we're a small team um, and hopefully we can, you know, do some good stuff. No, that's great. I mean, you mentioned that serve the membership. I mean, I, I've certainly seen that from yourself over the years and, and I genuinely mean this, Graham, you know, you're one of the one of the people that really took me under your wing when I first started to get involved. And um, I guess I've got you to blame that I'm still involved really, because you very much encouraged me to, to keep on, <laughs> keep on getting involved. Um, any, apart from meeting me, obviously, any, any favorite, <laughs> any favorite memories of yours over the well, years? It may have been meeting you down the Savoy and interviewing one of your guys for uh, a magazine. Oh yes. Um, I do remember that fondly. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks for that. Um, Many, there's, there's, there's a lot really, I, I think. Um, gosh, where do you start? Um, Maybe just pick one one for us, yeah, one of your yeah, favourite memories. Yeah, yeah, I think one is, or um, well, they're two really, but, but, but sort of lumped together. And that's when we were able to, I use the word secure, um, the two European conferences here in the UK, mm. which, was, which was quite a big deal at the time. And um, a, a bit of levity in that respect, that on the first one, we had the highest attendance ever in the history of uh, of a European conference, um, beating Berlin by you know whatever amount it was. Um, but then about two, I think it was two or three years later, um, the Dutch, the Dutch beat us. Um, but um, if they're listening to this, I think they invited every student in Holland along for a charge <laughs> uh, to, to, to put the numbers up. Um, but it was great to be involved in such a big thing here. Um, you know, in the UK. Um, the other thing was, I think, really in Prague last year, um, Gottfried Hendrik uh, presented me with my 25 year uh, certificate and pin. And I'm no Gottfried for donkeys. And, and, and like you were saying there, Tim, you know, for me, Gottfried's been a role model. You know, Gottfried's always been a great support. So for me, it was really, really nice and uh, to have Gottfried give me that. And, um, and the Mervyn, Mervyn uh, David Award. Um, well, I was so, going to come on to yeah. that. So um, you, 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 you stole my thunder a bit because I was going to congratulate sorry, you. Sorry, sorry, No, no, but I was going to congratulate you again. Here, here on, it uh, is. Oh, no, it's downstairs. No, I can't. <laughs> but you, you were, you know, it was very well deserved, but you, you were awarded the Mervyn David Award in 2017, I believe. Yeah. Um, you know, how, how was that for you and what did that feel like? Uh... An honour. I was well chuffed. Um, I mean, as you know, I think I'm not one. Uh, I'm not a serial poster on uh, LinkedIn or stuff like that. And um, yeah, for, for for my peers and and to be recognised. Um, I mean, I I, get, I re remember Mervyn not too well, but I was at some of the stuff for a year or two. You know, while Mervyn was alive, and how the chat has changed since those days. Well. Um, <laughs> But, um, and, and I guess the, not so much the caveat, but it was um, Dave Clark, bless his soul, mm. um, you know, presented it uh, uh, to me. So, yeah, it just, it's, it's, it's nice to be recognised, Tim, you know, without sort of putting yourself out there. So, yeah, it was a great, a great honour and uh, I was, I was well touched, actually. So Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and you're, you're on that long list of many deserved winners that we have on that, that lovely dish that we, we present every year. So, um, yeah, congratulations again. I guess just, just, just to finish off, Graham, um, if someone was watching this or um, thinking about signing up and joining ACES, um, why do it? What would you say to them? Get involved. Just get involved. Help. Do whatever you can, when you can, you you will get so much more out of it. And um, every every little bit you do will help. I mean, if we look at the growth of the chapter, you know, over over the years. Um, so you'll have people join for you know qualification uh, or, or whatever that may be. But I I'm aware of members who 
even you know excluding yourself tim who have got involved have taken a qualification who have put their hand up um but yeah get involved just get involved and so well, another thing to get involved in just to uh finish off is the uh, summer seminar the 30th anniversary and celebration i know you're going to be there graham i think so um i really look forward to seeing you on the 14th of june and many else of our members and guests that um, will hopefully be there at the Oval Cricket Ground. So um, yeah. thanks for your time this morning and um, have a great bank holiday weekend. It's great to see you. And you too. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.